Hey peeps, today we're going to go over Swiss ball planks. I am Shay with Own Health and Strength and that's a Swiss ball. So also known as exercise ball or the office chair that people use for a week and get tired. So anyway, a uh, couple things to remember here. Um, the most common thing that people should be mindful of is not sinking into your shoulder. So it's really easy to kind of like scrunch down into it uh, because these are hard and it makes it easier. So make sure that you don't do that. Um, I'm going to show you a couple different ways where you have it on your hands and then where you have it on your elbow perspective. I don't have a preference which one you do. Try them both. So we'll do the hands first. Um, placing your hands on kind of like the outer part of the ball and kind of like get yourself uh, stacked above it. So you want to have your shoulders directly over your hands. You don't want to have it out in front for general planking reasons. There's always a reason for something, right? So uh, shoulders are going to start out directly over hands. It's going to get harder to talk when I do this. So just remember you're going to tuck your hips under, really engage your lower abs, and then try to keep everything as still as possible while you're on a squishy surface. So I'm pushing my heels back. My belly button is pulling up to my spine. I'm kind of pushing out of my shoulders and my hands are digging into the ball. So you'll see it's moving a little bit. Uh, totally fine. Uh, just try to do your best to keep everything locked in and still. Um, the movement is actually part of what makes these hard. So it's supposed to move a little bit. Um, with the elbow version, um, main thing that people tend to do, like I was mentioning earlier, is kind of sink into it. So really push out of your elbow. So arms are going to be parallel get those nice and set up shoulders still directly over elbow um, you can make fists or knife hands whatever you feel best with heels are going to push away and you're just going to try and hold that there so everything is kind of pulling away from the ground chin is tucked if you have a ponytail imagine pushing it um, if you don't imagine you did um, so those are both examples of swiss ball planks you can do them on your knees you can do them with your feet up on a bench behind you if you want to make them like real hard. Um, but just to give you an example of like the smushed feeling I was uh, letting you know about, this is good example pushing out. This is not really going to do much for you. I feel it in my back. So uh, do your best with these. Uh, they are hard. So give yourself some time to get better at them, right? Um, and let me know if you need me. Uh, if you feel them tightening up in your neck or your low back or something, send me a message. I might be able to help. So good luck with them. Hope you feel the burn in your abs and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.